Noted, I made a nice web app that lets you take notes. I'm pretty sure I followed all the best practices, so it's definitely secure, right? Note that the headless browser used for the report feature does not have access to the internet. Create an account at this website, source code here. All right, so here's the website. We've got a login page. I can register an account. I'll register MCC. MCC is my password. Let's save that. So I have the ability to create notes and I can report a URL. All right, so the first thing that they said was that this reporting thing doesn't have access to the internet. Turns out that's not true. So if I put in this webhook URL, so I just went to webhook.site, it gives me basically a URL that I can track. It's easier than opening my own web server and making it accessible to the internet. You can see there's the Pico CTF uh, server, SaturnPicoCTF.net, it's contacted my webhook thing. So when I put in that report, it just visits that URL. So I downloaded the source code. We can see that here in report.js. So what happens when you report is it's going to register a user with an eight character random username and eight character random password. And then it's gonna create a new note for that user with the flag. So it's, it doesn't seem real likely that I'm gonna be able to log in and randomly guess at the right time that eight character username and password. But then what it does is it does this go to and it goes to the URL I specify, which can be a um, place on the web. They, they didn't actually tell us that thing correctly. It also can be something else interesting. So if we look here in um, Chrome, I'll drag over this new Chrome window. If I just say like JavaScript colon alert one, I can actually put code right here in the address bar and I'll just execute that code. So that's, I think what the hint was about for not just HTTP and HTTPS. All right, so that's good. So what should we do now? <clears throat> Let's go back here. I'm going to create a note, and in the note, I'm going to add some JavaScript. And so this JavaScript is going to allow me to leak the flag. All right now, if we look at the code in WebJS, they have this cross-site request forgery token they've generated. And so that's going to make it hard for me to get uh, data. So I can't just like somehow get them to visit my notes page and leak the flag that way, like in a normal uh, cross-site scripting attack. But the login page does not have a cross-site request forgery token. So we're going to be able to exploit that login page. All right, so I've got here sort of what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this script in a note in my account, in my MCC account. And what this script will do is it's going to, if it sees MCC in the URL, like here, we'll see MCCs in the URL, and it's going to visit my webhook site with the contents of the flag document. What I'm going to get, the this is what I'm going to report. So I'm going to have first a form. It's going to go login, MCC, MCC. I'll name that login form. So I'm going to have the admin open the notes window and call that flag. It's going to call that window flag. The admin will then, after a second, log in to my page. And here with this two seconds, it's going to visit my notes. So that notes will then grab the flag out of this page. So it's grabbing it from this other window, taking that whole text content, submitting it to webhook site. So I need to take this script and I'm going to submit that on my MCC account. So let's do my flag script. There's that. Now this is the URL I'm going to send to the admin. And so the admin will again open their own notes page, 
a window called flag, come to my login page, and then go to the notes page, grab the stuff from the flag page, and send it to me. So we'll report that long thing. Boom, it's been reported. Let me wait a couple seconds. We'll come over here. There's that new request, which has the flag, Pico CTF and Parliament of something other with the hex string. And that is my flag, which gives me the 500 points for this challenge.